So the Pullman's Prusa i3 Mark III S. I have a confession to make. In grand total, 3,000. 3,000? So, uh, you know, let's dive right in and uh, let's continue with the Pullman Prusa i3 Mark III S. Right here. Hey, Zach here. You know, I have been building this Pullman's Prusa for a while now, since end of November last year, and it is almost done there are some things that i need to do but i will talk a little bit later about that everybody wants to know how much money that this poor men's prusa is going to cost how much money did i spend on this printer and uh, you know i've printed uh, a calibration cube two times with this and there is a lot of flex in it not even i have so many so much flex in it but serious this is a very cool build i have learned a lot and you know, if I could get away with the flexing, then I have saved a lot of money. A frame in general on AliExpress costs around the 110 and 130 USD. I have to replace this frame. I had a visitor last Sunday, a Belgian friend, the 3D Print Belgian. And he brought his original Prusa i3 Mark III S frame, or Mark III frame. But it's all metal. There's also a uh, a serial sticker on the back side very cool so i'm going to swap the frames and in the meantime i'm going to talk about all of the costs and in the end you will know exactly what i spent on this whole build i will also give you some additional costs that you can maybe consider when building something like that let's dive right in there there are already parts loose like the display the timing belt for the Y axis. The motor's loose. I also make this cover open. You know, when talking about the frame for the Prusa i3 Mark III S build, you can buy a complete frame kit with the front, the rear, and the midsection, the extrusions, and sometimes even also with the smooth rods all included for around the 130 USD. You can also see or check if there are some other possibilities within your budget. If you are going to print all parts in orange and in black to match up with the whole theme of the Prusa build, take one PET G filament orange and one black PET G orange from Prusa Mint. Those two spools will cost altogether 60 USD. So uh, let's continue with the rest of this disassembling and uh, let's continue for the next price reveals. So if you are going to think about the heated bed, the PEI sheet and the belts, the pulleys and the motors, you need to think about the cost for a MK52 board. Those heated beds, it's, it is the Mark 52 heated bed and that one costs around the 35 USD. The uh, PEI sheet that you can drop onto it, sometimes you have those sets that comes together with the heated bed, but mine did cost a 22 usd the timing belts i bought a a set and that one was 7 usd it is the gt2 belt and i bought around the four meters for the y-axis for the x-axis making sure that i had more than enough always check for better belt quality then also for the pulleys that is needed for this it's a gt2 pulley belt 16 teeth you have all the, also those smooths. You also need some smooth pulleys on this side and on the front side. Those will keep the belt nice on tension. And those needs to be very specific and it needs to fit right between the plastic parts. So make sure to buy a kit. I saw a kit on AliExpress and that kit was 6 USD. And then also for the motion system, if you bought a whole frame kit, Usually there are some smooth rods with it, but you also need 10 linear uh, bearings in order to get this whole motion st system working. Four for the Z axis, three for the X axis to move on over the X axis, make sure it makes sense. And also three for the heated bed. So 10 bearings in total. And that comes at five USD if you buy them on AliExpress. If you go somewhere else, you buy two for six USD. You don't want to have that. So let's continue with uh, tearing this apart and uh, 
let's go for the next stop. So now we are going to assemble the x-axis on the z-axis and now I'm going to talk about the cost of the direct drive and everything that's included. Well for the hot end I choose the V6 hot end which is quite normal. That one was $15. Then the filament sensor it is $7. The pin that probe it was a $13. The Bontec Dual Gear Clone, because the original is like 40 USD, that one was $6. And a set of fans, a Radial 5015 fan and the Hot End fan, both were 17 euros. You know, I use a lot of screws, nuts, and other fasteners. You can buy on AliExpress, you can buy a whole kit with all of the fasteners, screws, and everything you need for your build. Even the spacers that you are going to need uh, for adding the heated bed to the carriage on the y-axis you can buy this fastener set for 24 us dollars i know it's quite a lot of money but if you think about it it are all the screws you need including also the feet for under the frame let's continue with adding the x-axis to the z-axis So, and the poor man Prusa i3 Mark III S has a metal frame. It's now more rigid. I can lift it out without, you know, being careful. Of course, always being careful is a thing. But anyways, now I exchange the plastic printed frame in a metal original Prusa frame. How cool is that? Thank you, my friends. Thank you. The only thing that I didn't mention was the screen. The screen I bought for 13 US dollars. And now, here it comes, the total that I spent, exclusively the motor set, exclusively the meanwhile power supply, the, the main board. So, in grand total, 3,000... 3,000? Yeah. Huh. 370 USD. On numbers, I have rounded up to a little bit higher, so that I have round numbers. But if you want to have a complete motor set for the Prusa i3 Mark III S, that one costs 71. A i3 Mark III S power supply unit from Meanwell, 62. If you want to buy a board, then that is $56. And a pulley set, uh, 9 USD. So, if you want to build a Mark III S all the way from scratch 568 that means it isn't a poor man's Prusa anymore and this is the reason why several weeks ago i bought a clone kit from Fistec, and that one you can buy for less than 300 usd i already printed a whole lot with that printer and it prints amazing but there is a difference between going this route or going the route for a clone kit of course, this is basically also a clone, but the experience from gathering all the stuff separately, finding your way on, on AliExpress or other websites where you can gather all the parts needed for something like this, it's a whole different kind of experience. You learn by building it all by yourself using a build of materials. And that is basically what I did right here. Just like mentioned, you can also buy a clone kit 
It is also a fun build. In total, I paid like 270 euros and it was a very fun build. And now I've got a second Prosha i3 Mark III S semi-clone, something like that. Because the frame is original, the board is original, and maybe some other parts. But hey, it was a lot of fun. You know what? It's also fun. Check out this video right over here.